Being a member of the Adeptus Sororitas isn't just about bringing the Emperor's Wrath to Xenos and Heretics through Bolter and Blade. I mean, it is largely about that, but it's not the only thing. Any sister who fails in their strict religious doctrine may have to face some dire consequences. The first way we see this in the lore and on the tabletop are Sisters Repentia. These are sisters who have decided themselves that they must atone for their sins. They do this by no longer donning their power armor, picking up an Eviscerator, which is essentially a massive chainsword, and running headlong into the enemy line. Repentia Superior are sisters of battle who are given the holy task of guiding the Repentia on their journeys of atonement, and of course they do this incredibly gently with the help of a neural whip. And even more unlucky, the sisters who commit heinous crimes will be forced to pilot a penitent engine. On this machine they will have chemicals injected directly into their brains to keep them consistently frenzied. They will also be kept alive as long as possible, because of course if they're going to die in service of the Emperor, they need to kill as many heretics as possible before finally succumbing to their wounds. 